Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back to my parlour. And today I'm here with a deck share. And some of you may have seen this deck um, on YouTube before. Other people may have done a walkthrough of it. I'm sharing it today because I found it yesterday while I was out op shopping. I went down to Elizabeth yesterday for a bit of a um, op shop um, jump around <laughs> and because I like to go down there sometimes and I found this deck at um, Vinnie's. So St. Vincent de Paul op shop. So I thought I would share that with you today and give you a little story about what happened yesterday. So I'm going to pour a cup of tea to get our energy flowing. I also found this yesterday as well. Isn't it just adorable? I found this at um, Salisbury actually, at Salvo's down at Salisbury, which is not far from Elizabeth. So let's have a look at the stack. I was walked into the store and right by the store is the checkout counter with um, glass cabinets with things in it that um, they don't want to leave out on the shelves because they sometimes get um, ramshackled or stolen. <laughs> so, And this was in the, the glass cabinet. It's the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. It's a... Um, uh, an angel based tarot deck and I saw it there for ten dollars and I thought yeah I'm gonna get this one and uh, because it's my Bradley Valentine and it's a, a tarot deck angel wisdom so the thing is a little story about that one it's um there were two ladies at the checkout desk and I said, can you show me the this de tarot deck, please? And they brought it out. And one lady said to me, oh, do you collect tarot? And I said, yes. She says, do you read tarot? And I said, yes. And she looked at me and I thought, she's asking for a reading. So I said, would you like um, a reading? And she said, yes, please, if you don't mind. And the other lady said, how much do you charge? And I said, I don't charge. Um, I, I read tarot for for free. Another reason I haven't got my Etsy store anymore, um, I haven't got that. So if you're looking for my Etsy store, um, I no longer um, have it. Um, I am now um, just doing my readings here on YouTube. So if you do want a reading and you don't mind me putting it here on YouTube, let me know. I think I still got my um, email address the light keeps doing that I wonder why do you notice that the light keeps going on and off um, flashing I don't know if it's my camera or my phone camera or just the sun going clouds going over the sun I don't know see it's going in there again did you just see it see it <laughs> anyway, so I don't have my Etsy store anymore. But if you do want a reading, just comment, and I'll I'll give you one. Um, if you don't mind it being public or what have you, I'm quite willing to do that. So let me know. Anyway, so I did two readings yesterday for the the two ladies there, and. One really appreciated the effort that I put in and she said I was quite accurate. So thank you very much, she said to me and I said, you're welcome. And so I thought I would share this with you today. I was going to share it with you anyway, but I just thought I'd share that little story with you. So this is Radley Valentine. He was in collab with um, Doreen Virtue at one stage, but now he's... Um, branched out on his own it's a hay house deck and it was normally about you know forty dollars to buy and i got for ten dollars and it's virtually brand new it has been used or had been used at the time i purchased it so it's not in order but i'm going to go through the deck with you um as it is the inside is pretty little blue insert insert and it says thank you angels for guiding my path every day now this is the angels guiding uh, guiding you. You can assume that we all have a guardian angel. 
of course we can use tarot every day so long as it's not for the same thing each day so you could pick a card for the day to give you the energy for the day to give you some insight for what might be happening for that day and how you can um, um, deal with the day so long as you're not asking the same question every day you can use tarot every day that is my opinion other people may differ on that it has a little book it has the tarot deck and the blue inside isn't that pretty though it's such a pretty color the blue and the brown i just like that color it's just really quite attractive the box itself the box colors and it has um each card has a page and a bit um this one has been i say it's a second hand one it has been written in but that's okay i don't mind that so say I like second hand decks it has a different kind of energy than a brand new one for my myself anyway so some things have been underlined that's okay um, and it goes about the cards how to use them a bit of information about them about the angels then it goes into some spreads the basic um, three card spread the celtic cross that's the with the signs here the fire the water the air and the earth signs so we can learn about those and then it goes in about the each card and what it represents we'll get your bonus gifts that'd be nice the um, audio meditation you just look to this website and about the artist about the author and about big boy about hay house and such forth so that's the guidebook here are the cards i say they are not in order because they have been used i'm hoping they're all there <laughs> that's the back and the front so i'm just going to go through them and let you see what they are some of them are upside down as well but that's okay as, as far as it goes they're nice nice cards most of you know I do not read reversals um, I try to use my um, intuition or whatever messages come through for me with the meaning of the of the cards I don't sometimes I do use these prompts um, words but I'm not normally that's a pretty world I like that one I do find the prompts quite accurate um, I like that yeah the hangman it's going to be taking a bit of getting used to the symbols um, but that's um, by the by nice son <laughs> here's a horse but not a baby on a horse that's nice too I like that 
I'm going to have to go through the book to find out the symbols to be more aware of those. Um, magicians, the same on the box and the same on the book. It's a nice magician, I like that one. Oh, naked man. Well, it's not naked, but he's got his shirt undone. <laughs> Not the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> sort of not, not too keen on that one, but still, doesn't matter. We all have preferences, what cards we like and what cards we don't like. Sometimes I won't buy a deck because I just don't like the cards. Um, but these ones are okay. They're as... Um, they're okay... I like the colours. I do like the images. Looks like the cups are all water. Well, of course, the cups are water sign, but um, see the symbol at the top. Um, well see the symbols down here the number I'm glad the um, major have the name on them because I'd get confused with just Roman numerals I do get confused with Roman numerals Stars pretty. It's good too because this can be either male or female, two males, two females, male or female. So that's quite good. Um, transgender, it, it's um, could be either. So that's good. I like that. I'd rather have that than. Um, uh, humans in any form because this way you can interpret it as you want because it's neither masculine nor feminine it could be either or or so that's that's a really good lover's card I really appreciate that um, yeah I appreciate the image here of the lovers could, could be indicating anyone that you're reading for in any combination that you um, you have which is good that's my opinion anyway <laughs> the wheel is what we got here on the back which is good and a good it's got uh, someone with a dis disability though don't know if I'm certain this should be the six of pentacles because that's the pentacle sign um, I'm not sure I don't know what you other guys think but I'm not too sure a person with disability should have been the six of pentacles not sure I'm not sure how I think about I feel about that one Again, I'm not sure. Well, as all the all decks, they have a family with the Ten of Cups. I'm not sure this represents a whole spectrum of the kind of family you can have. Um, there could have been a, like a community rather than family, perhaps, if this wants to be an inclusive deck. Again, that's... I'm just questioning it because it seems to be in some cards being inclusive and other cards aren't so might be um, 
something to think about. Hmm. Not bad. I like that. I'm just going to shuffle behind because it's a big deck and see what we come up with. Let's choose a card, shall we? I'm going to split the deck a couple of times. Join it back together. And then choose a card. Fans okay. The Emperor. Okay, let's have a look and see what it says. Logic and organisation will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role. <gasps> Structure and discipline. The Emperor. Very good energy. Now this energy, is, of course, is masculine because the masculine energy... Well, it's always been that way, hasn't it? So <laughs> who's going to... um? judge that too much you can't um so this is bringing about this leadership qualities that you have and the strength and the determination to see things through openly honestly and fairly as well but of course making sure that you receive whatever it is that you need but without stepping on toes and just sort of going about your business but going about it in a strong and determined fashion so out you go guys and seek what you need today and be strong and determined about it and show logic and organization and you will increase your success so there we go nice little deck i like it good price i'll say i say i like receiving second-hand decks you don't normally find them um, out op shopping not anymore anyway but there we go so thank you very much everyone and until next time some blessings